morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. It is a bright and beautiful day outside. It's not. It's freezing cold. It's windy. Our garbage can already blew over. It's just freezing out there. The thermometer out there, and it says that it is 35 degrees. Cool. 35 degrees. Look, You may notice that Gabby is half dressed today. She's got her pajama bottoms on. Why do you have your pajama bottoms on? Riding. Yeah. And you all know she rides in her pajama bottoms. <laughs> no. My pants are in the wash. Yeah, so this lazy girl that was putting out so many That's videos nice all day. weekend and just being super crazy busy with the birthday party did not wash all the laundry yesterday after they rode the other day. And Gabby has a ton of pants, but she only likes one pair. I might canto. Do you think you're going to canter? What did Fiona tell you you have to be able to do before you can canter? My toes open. Right, and she said maybe in a couple of weeks, and today is the second week, right? So she is hoping that she's gonna get to canter today, but I don't know, I don't know what's gonna happen. We'll have to see, we'll have to see. She's supposed to be riding Jasmine, and I'm riding Blue today. How do you know? I looked up the board at the party. Oh, and it said you're riding Blue? Sophie, Jasmine, and Gabby Blue. Sometimes that changes though, right? So if you ride Jasmine, you won't get to canter, right? Sometimes it gets changed, so we'll have to see. Yeah, so we'll I'm have to see. Just don't get your hopes up. Don't get your hopes up. I mean, I can't I just know it. Guys, I was just cleaning up my purse. What a mess. Anyway, um, I found this paper. Oh, guys, let me tell you the time. I found this yellow paper, and it was in my purse since Sophia was a lot younger. It was from when she was sick, and it was a pediatric asthma action plan. And so, basically, if you can see, it tells you what what when she's in the green all like she no symptoms while sleeping through the night um easy relaxed breathing and then yellow is time to take action and she had cold symptoms or symptoms at night um and then get help when she was in the red zone and then it has all of her medication listed and uh, this letter has been in my purse for the longest time like so long and i can't believe even looking at this, that we lived this, that we lived this thing where I could go buy paper and gauge her um, symptoms every single day all through the winter to tell if what zone she was in. And we were in that red zone so often. And now she's just like a normal girl. But when she gets sick, she's sick for like two weeks. Yeah, when she gets sick, she gets sick. Like she had pneumonia two winters ago, like really bad. It's funny how you get caught up in things that are really hard in life and then you don't even realize when they've just disappeared and, and you don't even have any of these struggles anymore. And it's amazing, like this paper is a world away from us. Like I, I can't even remember what it felt like hardly to be in this zone. So just know that if you're going through anything at all, that everything passes. In time, everything passes and good things are gonna come. Yeah, you guys, this is a horse that we're interested in leasing and she's doing dressage. I think she's fabulous. I mean, we don't do just dressage, but she does other things too. The lady just sent me this video. What do you guys think? Carry it home. Yeah, I think I can carry it home. We're taking it. Alright you guys, I am an idiot. 
idiot. I'm an idiot. Okay, so my first mistake was that we walked in town to buy Gabby a pumpkin. She didn't even really want a pumpkin, but I was like, well, we're gonna carve pumpkins. So I, want, I want the seeds. Yeah, she wanted the seeds. So we get there and she picks the biggest pumpkin. Why'd you pick the biggest pumpkin? Because <laughs> lots of seeds. Yeah, she just wants the seeds. She wants to eat the seeds. And I'm like, okay, if you have the seeds, I'll carve it because I want to make a horse. Anyway, so she picks the biggest pumpkin. And I'm like, I'm strong. I carried more stuff. We just lived so close to the store. And I'm like, we'll just carry it home, thinking the two of us somehow could manage it. Well, little did I forget that I'm getting older and I'm not as strong. When I worked in nursing, I was so strong, but I haven't done it for four years and now I'm not strong. <laughs> Anyway, so we are walking home with this pumpkin, taking breaks every five seconds. I'm like, oh my gosh, if I was younger, I would totally have been embarrassed. Were you embarrassed? No. No. I'm and like, everyone look at our big huge pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, and we were laughing so hard, like I thought I was gonna pee my pants. So we finally get across the road, we're like still a block away from our house, and these people pull up in a truck. And they're laughing, and then we started laughing. And they said, hey, do you live far? Because we can carry your pumpkin for you. I was like, thank you so much. Hey, we decided that they're the nicest people in the history of the world, right? Yeah. Yeah. You better love this pumpkin, Gabby. I will. I'll love it with all my heart. <laughs> but anyway, it seems like today is our luckiest day because not only did somebody help us, a good Samaritan help us with our pumpkin, I got some amazing news in the horsey news department but i'm not going to share it with you because i don't know what's going to happen but when i do know what's going to happen i will tell you guys just what i want you to know that everything good is happening on this day and i hope you guys are having an awesome good luck day too it is winter at the barn you guys freezing cold last day of october gabby <laughs> i'm thinking how do you get on without stirrups you use stirrups to get on they won't be on the saddle. Oh. oh. No. <laughs> no. You know how to ride bareback, right? There's no stirrup when you get on bareback. Thanks for helping. When I say go, you're going to ask me to slow down, but you cannot use your hand. You're going to have to slow your rising, tighten your thighs, and breathe. Okay? Go. That's it. Try posting smaller. You had no stirrup when you were posting. You wouldn't go to the saddle that far, would you? No. So imagine you had no stirrup. How far that saddle would you come? There you go. There you go. That's beautiful. That's how I want to see you riding on Wednesday in the video, okay? Change direction. Cross the diagonal.
down to the barn. They're inside right now because the weather is frightening. Right, Spencer? I got my umbrella, but um, I asked Fiona about it and she said he should be fine with it and just to be careful and don't poke him in the eye. But yeah, I'm not gonna poke him in the eye. So, what do you think of your lesson? And I did. Yeah, that was such a lucky day. Isn't this a lucky day? Yeah. I have to go home and carve some pumpkins. Yeah, we have pumpkins half carved at home. Literally just before we came home, or just before we left to come here, Gabby's like, you really? No. He's like, listen, I deserve, I deserve some grass. She was like, I really hope I get to do a flat work today. After last week when she was jumping, jumping, jumping and she was really nervous about it and really scared. No, I was really tired after it. Like, my face was gonna burn. Your face? My you face don't ride and, with your face. My face and hands were gonna burn off. No, because like, you were sweating? I was working so hard. Yeah. Yeah, like my face is gonna blow up. So this is like winter at the barn, you guys. It's, can you guys see my breath? I, I don't know. Look at the water, it's moving fast. Crazy. All right, it's not moving that fast, but it's winter. I'm excited though. So earlier I said, we have some like crazy news, crazy news. And I just feel like so many things are falling into place for us today. It's been a crazy day. And I'm actually really excited to share with you guys what's going on. Oh, hi. 
Hi, horsies. Kitty, you got to stay in. It's cold out there. Hi, Ziggy. I had to go let Gabby in. The horses are in today because of the weather. Oh, you got it. Come on. <clears throat> hey, Ben. to cats. Yep. Just a little Gabby bit. has allergies. <clears throat> Look at him opening that door. Uh, uh, uh. Is that okay? He literally knows how to open the door. <clears throat> He's purring and clawing me. Aww. No. I can't get over that. <clears throat> Why is there a smarty pants? Wait. He Make can't open the door. No. He can't. Look, he's gonna chew that a little bit. He's not a dummy. Okay, just for go see. Yeah, we got it close. Boy or... Yeah, I think he's a boy. She was looking for a boy. Yeah, he's a boy. Hello, Kitty. What's his name? I don't know, but he is so cute. Tiki's jealous of all the attention. He's yeah. getting in Spencer's just like Remember when we said that when we had that black kitten, um Fiona was thinking about getting him. Did I just step in horse poop? I just stepped in horse poop. Great. <laughs> Anyways, um, but he had long hair and he wouldn't do well with uh, burrs. Look at him. Yeah, he's so cute. <laughs> he's like, oh, when he, Tiki wants attention. Lift him Attacked up. Attacked by the cat. <clears throat> no, that's Tiki. Oh my gosh, there's my boy. He's oh, like, look at him. I feel like he's trying to say hi to me, but I think he was trying to get that. He's like, feed my bowl, oh, fill my man. bowl. Hi, Zig. Oh, too cute. He's too cute. I want to keep him. Yeah, he is really cute. Orange male kittens are really hard to come by. Hello. I didn't bring any treats, Ziggy. I'm sorry. I should have thought of it. I'm coming back on Wednesday and we'll give you treats, okay? Coming back. We'll bring you treats. All right, you guys. This is the perfect barn coat. As soon as I lifted it up, my ears were so warm. <clears throat> this is what you do when you want your umbrella to open and you're lazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got it. That's like in a movie. Oh, yeah. All the leaves behind you. I want to do it again. All right, we are home from the barn and I'm gonna share with you guys the exciting news that happened today. You won't show me. I, yeah, I can't show Sophie because she's covering a pumpkin with no shirt on because she doesn't want to get dirty. And Gabby's over here carving her big monstrosity of a pumpkin. <laughs> Look at how big it is. Like, so big. Okay, so this is what happened. You guys have been following, if you guys have been following our horsey saga, you know that a few days ago we messaged somebody about their thoroughbred gelding for sale. He's a school horse. He is, I he's wrote it down. Oh my yeah, God. he's more woe than go. He's a school horse. He does camp. He's a babysitter more horse. More woe than go? More woe than go. Yeah. Uh, he's nine years old, which is a little bit young, but our uh, Fiona says, our Fiona says around 10 is a perfect age for us. So nine. Anyways. Um, Ziggy's nine. Yeah, Ziggy's nine. He was 16.1 hands and we and Fiona even messaged, messaged about him as well because he would be a really good horse for her school. So we messaged and I talked to the lady for over the couple of days and she had somebody coming to look at him and it fell through. So actually she, the, late, the people took him, said they were gonna take him and then they decided that circumstances in their life weren't right and they changed their mind at the last second. And because I kept emailing her and texting her and talking to her, asking her if she had anything else that would be good for us, 
she put me next in line for the horse. So we are going all the way, two hours away, to check out this horse that I think is gonna be a really good, like I feel like it's gonna be a good, if our coach messaged about the horse because she thinks it would be a good match for her, then for sure it's gonna be a good match for us. But not only that, we, um, she did have another horse for lease that we were thinking about that is a um, mare and she's 15.2 hands high I think and so we're no, gonna get three to, I think it was two but anyway we're gonna get to try out both horses on Wednesday there's gonna be a lots of horse action in this week's videos and we are super excited I cannot wait for Wednesday um anyway we're gonna end today's video tomorrow's Halloween so oh, yeah. when you're watching this Halloween time. Yeah, today was such yeah. a lucky day. Hey guys, uh, everybody's busy in the kitchen. Oh my gosh, you're eating ice cream? Yeah. So this is Nick. If any of you guys don't know, he's my youngest son. <laughs> this is Nick. This is Nick. Who will, what, what? Send me candy in the P.O. box. <laughs> from wherever you're from. Okay. No, don't So, uh, anyway, nobody else wanted to be in the video with me, so Nick said he'd sit here with me. Or dress it to Nick. <laughs> okay. So, comment of the day goes to Sama Alisa, and she says, I love you so much. My horse, Lady Luna, is three years old. She is half Arabian, half English. In Bosnia, we say Anglo-Arab. She is yet to come in a couple of weeks. The lease horse seems like a great deal. I think you should lease her so you can learn a lot with her. I also found a horse that looks like Ziggy in a magazine. I look at a lot of horsey YouTube channels and I came across one called Budget Equestrian and it really helps. I think you guys should check her out. Oh, definitely we will. Um, I can't wait for new videos every day. I enjoy watching them so much. I hope this comment will be picked as comment of the day since I never got the chance to be comment of the day. P.S. This is my two year of watching you guys. Stay nice. safe and good luck and good luck on the horsey and farm lookout. So I thank you so much for your comment. I recognize your name. Cookie dough is wanting some Nick's ice cream. You know what I know about it's Bosnia? Cookie dough. What? I've never had Bosnian candy. <laughs> I dress it to Nick. <laughs> Nick has a very crazy sense of humor. We got a whole box of candy not that long ago, and now he wants some candy of his own. Oh, and also she says that in English it is also Anglo Arab. Anglo Arab. I don't know anything about horses. Yeah, Nick is not a horse lover. I do. All right, you guys. It's after our bed. Yeah. Oh. If we get a horse, are you gonna come and ride it? Sure. Really? Yeah. Sure. yeah. yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah. So Nick, okay. Nick, jump him. Jesse will also ride the horse. Jesse, are you yes. gonna come ride the horse? Yes. Jesse said she'll ride our horse too. Jesse also wants candy. Address <laughs> it to Jesse. Address it to Nick. Address <laughs> Jesse's candy to Nick. Oh, All right, you guys. That is it for today's video. We will see you guys tomorrow on I Happy Halloween. I hope you guys are having a really wonderful day. When you watch this, it'll already be Halloween. Stay safe. Get lots of candy and send it to Nick. <laughs> send me your Halloween candy. No. Address it to Nick. <laughs> get, I hope you guys get lots of candy and have a fun and safe Halloween. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.